damn boy. Let me turn up the music for you guys so you actually hear something. Mm. Alrighty. I feel... Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Where did I leave off yesterday? I met with Marcus in the park. And then Marcus was like, The fuck? You killed some people? And I was like, Soz, but it happened. Mm. Did you change the channel point icons? No. Are they changed? I uploaded one singular emote, but I did not do anything about the channel point. Oh, they look different though. I don't know why they changed that. I cannot tell you why. Nope, they're definitely changed, but I cannot tell why. Ah, uh, cool. I am massively over lit, but as soon as I turn it down, the green screen is not working properly anymore. <laughs> Guess we have to live with that. Cool. All right, let's start. <laughs> Gonna continue and play with the controller because I suck with the mouse. Um, but before that, I would like to set this in the options. Uh, why it's not working? Oh, come on. Do I have to restart for real? For real? Okay, you guys, technical issues. It's a cute mode. I'm glad that you like it. It was, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's been a journey. <laughs> I was sitting there this morning and I was like, all right, I really want to do those. Um, and I tried tracing more and I also tried, um, doing chibi themed things because I really liked them but then I realized okay this is not any of my style so I was like okay I, I need to I need to get my head out of my own ass and just start doing things so I did things and this is what it turned out to be Falk hi you're here for Fahrenheit. You haven't been here yesterday, so you have basically no clue what's going on. But I feel like you're going to catch on. Right, so. Uh, it's currently 3.35 a.m. in the morning on the 27th of Jan. Uh, we can either start playing as Lucas. He's in the Nazar and Jones bank. I have no clue what he's doing there. I completely forgot. Or we, we play as Carla Valenti, our sweet, sweet police officer. She's at the mortuary, probably having a look at the corpse. And we can play as Tyler Miles. He is in the police station after really spending a long time at home before coming into work. Um, I feel like I want to start with Carla. And just check out what she's doing. Minus 10 degrees. Take your time, Charles. Take your time. No rush. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, 
If you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. You studied some medicine? As you wish. <laughs> Just a dash. <laughs> a no dash of medicine. No apparent on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. I want to listen to what he's saying. I don't want to concentrate on the thing. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. Would the pupil stay dilated after you die? One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. Oh, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Mm. Do you think it was just by chance? Mm. Mm, difficult to say. The chances of cutting all three main arteries to the heart with three lucky stabs are fairly small, but um, it's not impossible. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Come on! The three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, what do you think disconnected is from the rest happen? of the body. <laughs> Are you sure, though? I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um... That name again, Carsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. We got an email where somebody mentioned Kirsten. Cool, okay, so very precise stabs. Uh, actually quite impressive. Not gonna lie, quite impressive. Calling with my boyfriend right now, by the way. <gasps> Go then! Go and enjoy that! You're such a good nugget for still being in the stream, but man, just enjoy your time. <laughs> Nobody's been paying attention yesterday. <laughs> it's still cute that you still stick, ar uh, stick around. Sounds like I took a semester in philosophy and understand life now. Ooh, like one of these super woke hipsters at the at the party where they're like dumping you with philosophy knowledge and they're like oh i just started my philosophy studies okay i don't want to shit on anyone but you know these people right people stay dilated after death because the muscle are completely relaxed but you being a nurse might already know this that's what i'm saying like Everybody's pupils just have the same size after death because there is no nervous or muscles or anything connected to it anymore that is working. So you cannot say like he died with dilated pupils. Basically you have no clue what he died with because the pupils will just be the same size after everything disconnected. Gotta help keep the view count at least a little bit higher. You guys are cute. Well, let me know how... How you want this to be, if I can make anything better. <laughs> I don't want you guys to fall asleep. But even though, like, if you fall asleep, maybe it's a good thing as well, you know? Some people struggle with falling asleep. Always happy to help in any sort of way. <laughs> All right. 
the only time they could really even contract are when a rigor mortis is happening. Exactly. And then it releases again and then you're good. So, I don't know. Enough with the medicine. Let's skip to Lucas, see what he's doing. Oh, nice. He's puking. 3.35 p.m. and minus 10 degrees in a bank. I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep enough food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know. Oh, Lucas. We're doing pretty good with his mood bar. He's neutral. For somebody who just murdered someone a day before. Ooh, bonus points. He's doing pretty neutral. Gotta give this man a chance to leak. Hopefully that will get his mood up even higher. <laughs> Nope. Okay. And wash our hands again because why not? Mmm, right in the face. Love it. Mm. Cool. Nothing here to explore, so I guess we're just gonna go outside. Did you try and imitate Miss Puff when you said bonus points? Oh no, I did not. <laughs> Did it sound alike? Gotta just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. Alright, okay, I see you. Um, so we are working in a bank. And everybody here seems very busy. So I feel like we are working on the corner here where the red dot is blinking red. I'm just expecting the real thing is that he's just sick and funny how the brain tries to protect itself. Well, oh, I think this is our booth. Nope, it's not our booth. Oh my god, I'm acting very suspicious. I'm in charge of computer maintenance at Ezra in Jones Bank. I share my office with Warren. Hi, Warren. How you doing? Do you know what time it is? What's wrong with you? I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. That guy is so bizarre. He gives me the creeps. What'd you say? <laughs> Wait, we just what? read his mind? You were saying something? No, I didn't say anything. Are you sure you're all right, Lucas? This I, bitch! I heard something as though I could read his mind. This bitch is chatting shit about us while we're s sitting right across him. <gasps> Let's get the rosemary out. Ooh, extra life. Every time we touch something that is Jesus related, we get an extra life. It's kind of cool. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. You who, Dad? I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? No. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? Sounds like ex I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Judging from all the boxes that were at his house when we played. Look out, the cup! Lucas, is there a problem? No, I, I, I just thought. It seemed so real. I saw that coffee cup fall. He gets a plus when his ex visits him. That what that's what I was thinking. Maybe there are still some feelings involved. 
Who knows? Okay, nothing in here, but there? Cool. Ooh, is that Tiffany? Tiffany and I. About two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Meh. He's so hooked. Lucas? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Ah, <sighs> Jesus is life. Jesus is everything. Damn boy, we told him. Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. He's like, I'm glad when you're out of the office. You're creepy. It happened. Just like I'd seen it. Like the cop in the apartment. <sighs> is it possible that I can really see things before they happen? I mean, you can read minds. He's a bit cray cray, but sure. I also still have a box of love letters. That's cute. I never really know whether you should keep them or throw them away, but I guess it's more of an individual situation. And I thought I wouldn't need the scream counter in this game. But guess again. Nailing those quick times. Let's get it. <laughs> I cannot take them seriously. Like, like, come on, look at the fucking graphics. Oh my god, I understand now why Teddy said this game is ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like I would suck so much if I would play this on the keyboard. Jesus, what's up with those quick times? Can we stop right now? Like, it's enough slices! Jesus! Start with the action scenes, Lucas. I swear to God, what is he even doing? Come on.
At this point, he's just showing off. Yeah. Lucas, what happened? Ah! Did you hear me? Are you all right? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. But one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. You sure, man? You sure? What the? Come in. I have Hello, questions. Mrs. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. They're really Please, bugging me. Seat. Of course they will. <laughs> now, we're going to try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program. I swear, if I will have to You'll do quick time really events to make this drawing. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No, no. never. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're going to do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Why would you make this? The default picture. <laughs> if you would sit me down in front of a PC and told me I would need to like reconstruct a murderous face, and you would sit me down and show me that as a default picture, <laughs> I would not be able to keep it together. <laughs> So this is what a typical criminal looks like according to them. <laughs> Don't you see? <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> it's really... Uh, what do you think he did? That dude. That dude. <laughs> Uh, he stole a grandma's purse and while he was running off he was like roaming through it and he found the money and everything so he got like the money and a golden necklace or something and he put it into his pockets when he realized shit the police is behind me so he quickly had to do something so he roamed through the grandma's purse more and he found like this like lip liner and eyeliner and whatever and he was like okay shit I gotta do something so he just drew himself some very accentuated brows and gave himself like a very very prominent mustache so when the grandma would describe him she wouldn't you know recognize him so that's what he did he stole a grandma's purse and that's why he looked like that <laughs> jesus christ can i get rid of the beard first like jesus okay lucas has no beard right Let's do this from memory. Um, let's... What kind of hair does Lucas have? I don't remember. I feel like this is coming close. I'm really bad with remembering faces. Okay, so it's eyebrows and nose at the same time. <coughs> Lucas is like a bit of, an, of a pretty guy, so... <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Why does he look like that? No. Mm, that's more Lucas. Oh, that's Lucas. That's Lucas. I think I would do that. Do y'all agree? <laughs> <laughs> he 
seemed like the kind of guy that breaks into your home and laugh at you for having nothing to steal. He will do the Waluigi laugh. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> This guy laughs at you with a Va Waluigi wi wi um, voice and the other dude without the beard is like... <laughs> He's like... Okay, you have nothing to steal, but where does the red wine? <laughs> uh, cool. I feel like I would like to go with that one just for fun and giggles. But I would like to do good in this one, so I'm going to go for that. Going to lurk again? I'll explain when I get back. Okay. Have fun. Now, Enjoy. Is this the face of the person you saw? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just did this for fun. Yes. At least, that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports. Zero to twenty-five percent, not even close. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video game. Shut up. Let me let me He looks exactly like that. Okay, fine. He has like a slight beard, but Okay, his nose is maybe like more prominent. Okay, I might have fucked up. I like that they zoom in on the face the next frame. So you're like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I feel like his eyes are more narrow. The only thing we might have gotten right is the lips. I did not take care of the face shape because I had no clue. He got like a beard. The nose is definitely thicker than the one I chose. Also the brows. I think the only thing I might have gotten right is hair and lips. But that's a maybe. I feel like the only thing I got right was hair. Alright, today we established that I'm shit at reconstructing faces. But I was I expecting that. After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Damn. A man dove directly into the frozen water at Central Park today to save a child who had tumbled in by accident. The young boy was successfully resuscitated and will completely recover. His the way he resuscitated him. Before the ambulance had even arrived, apparently a case of a reluctant hero. The investigation continues into the recent murder which took place at dawn. Was all for us. <laughs> Police have today provided a composite photo of the suspect based on information given by a witness to the crime. If you see this man, please call the special number which appears on your screen now. And finally, a report on the weather with a new snow front moving down from Canada. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, even if I try to do good and in the end I completely fucked up, it does not even matter because now Lucas might get away with stuff, you know? I'm not too mad. Oh, we still have only the milk in here. Let's take a sip. This man needs some milk. He's stressed and hallucinating and also thinking of bugs in the office that ain't good oh there is alcohol in here Ooh. imagine he calling the police and being mad about his mugshot like what you think i look like that <laughs> let's not have some alcohol 
if you're stressed and have traumatic experiences, maybe alcohol is not the best kind of drink to have. Sports in the meantime, very good thing. Let's practice some kicks. Huh, 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 huh. Oh shit. Shit. It still tells me great, but I'm missing a bunch. Look at him showing off again, Jesus Christ. Alright, Lucas, we got the idea. I think you can stop now. Jesus, what are you trying to prove here, my man? of the tiger should play now <laughs> it should Dun. um he just he just threw the thing right through his apartment cool apparently our mental state is now expanding onto our physical state as well not in the worst way but i mean to be honest when when they found out that the three arteries were cut through and i'm saying arteries but there are not really three arteries anyways um when the three vessels were cut through i thought like okay that's surgical precision also while performing this on a bathroom floor uh by lucas who apparently does not have any medical history in cutting some vessels that's quite something so i guess it has something to do with him hallucinating aka being possessed aka i don't know maybe you got all the achievements in surgeon sim I got all the achievements in Surgeon Sim, but you knew that. You knew that. Man, that was such a ride. Cool, okay. Uh, I can read a book. I can take some medicine. For what exactly? We're just throwing it down? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're just shoving in some medicine, which is going to make us feel tense instead of stressed. Nice. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. Well... Didn't Tiffany want to come by? I looked at all My these things already. Stop looking at it! It's gonna make you sad. Also, why are the windows always open? It's freezing. Did we say we're gonna call Tiffany be before she comes in? Or did she say she was gonna come by? You have, you have no, no new, messages. new messages. Cool. Very popular. I feel you, Marcus. It's okay. It's okay. Mm, let's take a leak. It's gonna pump up our mood. Because, you know, having a Wii always gives you a better mood. 
I can't believe we got the self-portrait so wrong. Or like the mugshot. How? I really thought I nailed it. But then it was like, yeah, it's it's basically 0%. <laughs> mm. I probably would have had the same chances if I would have just like randomly selected the thing and just be like, you know, you do you. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't, I feel like we're just going to go to bed. I don't want to drink some alcohol. I don't want him to, you know, like get more, more confused. So let's try to get some Lucas take your damn shoes off what the hell are you doing you're laying in bed fully clothed with your outside clothes you're laying in your bed that's disgusting that's why he doesn't have friends yeah Ew. That's so disgusting. Oh. Oh, there's Tiffany. <sighs> All right. Let's try to find out what happened between the two of them. Apparently, two years ago, they were still happily ever after. But she's gonna pick up some stuff, so I don't feel like the breakup has been a long time ago. Hi. Hi. I came to pick up my stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. I don't know about y'all, but he looks dodgy, <laughs> no matter what he does. Have a seat. We're gonna ignore the boxing bag that's just laying on the floor. <sighs> I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. All right, I can see something here. That's TH, right? Okay. Uh, Uh, we got a bunch of other places where we store boxes, so not here. Oop. Oh my God. I swear I'm not an idiot. It's just really hard moving around in this game. I think I already spotted the second one. Let's go. Cool. Here you go. Now you can get the fuck out. Here they are. I think that's everything. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed aggressive I had a few health problems I'm fine <laughs> that's good I'm fucking fine oh kiss no hey, I, I miss you you know I miss you too Aww. are you are you with anybody I'm sorry I should oh she smiled that. though no no it's okay I don't mind no I'm still alone and you? Yeah, I'm alone too. I've had a little trouble getting over you. Had or have? He's still playing? 
You know, I really haven't even thought about it lately. Play a couple of notes for me, will ya? You know, in memory of the good times. Okay, sure. Right, okay. I feel like we could get out of here and mingle with our sweet Tiffany. Maybe we can get them back together. Oh shit, quick time events. Ah! right now. If he's gonna make some aerial jumps while playing the guitar, then that's just on him. I'm just doing the quick times. smash the guitar like a true rock star <laughs> at the end just like very aggressively <laughs> yeah sure well okay that ended abruptly <sighs> well I'm gonna go what do you mean kiss 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 yeah is it gonna work? Did we charm her with our guitar plays? <gasps> or ask for a tip for the performance. We're currently getting our tip. <laughs> oh. I know, <laughs> I don't think I did that. And I currently regret it. Oh. Mr. Cage. What the actual fuck? Back to lurking? You just came in here for that scene and now you're back to lurking? <laughs> you see? Okay. Fuck. I know you don't believe that I kissed Tiffany because of obvious reasons we remember our sweet sweet child Robert but this is the reason why I never go for it because it leads to weird fucking sex scenes in games where I need to take the control panel like the joystick and push it in rhythm of the you know what straight up weird straight up weird and that's why we never go for kisses I did it once, I learned my lesson. You know what? Never fucking again. <laughs> Jeez. Why are the windows always open? It's freezing. Close them. Are we heating for whole New York or what? I've been here this entire time and the eye of the tiger was very funny good. <laughs> Just not chatting because it's... Uh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Wait, why is there a crow in our living room? That don't mean anything good. Uh, the TV is...
it's not working. I feel like we're about to face some more quick times and some ninja moves. This is the girl we saw before. Fine, Tiffany. I'm, I'm just fine. Cool. Okay. Um, we saw the girl again. I don't know what to think of her. I really don't. She kind of looks very. I don't know. Kind of aggressive, but also she's just a girl. And then Lucas said the first time we saw her, she was reaching out to him, kind of like for looking for help so that's what kind of throws me off she looks weird all right <clears throat> we can play as lucas on the cemetery probably visiting the grave of his parents or we play as carla in the gym why not or as tyler in the gym you know what let's play as tyler Let's show off with some quick I moves. I knew Samantha was depressed, but I didn't know what I could really do about it. I was happy to be back in the gym. Man, I love that smell of old leather and sweat. Maybe I could just forget about everything for an hour and just get in a good workout with Carla. Damn, you look a little out of it, Carla. You sure you're cool? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Okay, let's warm up a little then go for it. Let me know when you're ready. I want to fail okay. all Tyler's quick time events so Carla smashes him. Oh, they're not going to box against each other. Okay, cool. I thought they were going to go boxing. Huh. One. Two. Oh man, how long is Three. this going to go? Four. Five. Do you think there is a cap to that? Oh.
Right, we're gonna finish oh, off with some other music, but I think we got the vibe. Let's smash Tyler. He deserves to go down. So you Boom! You wanna go again? What do you mean you wanna go again? You're lost, fair and square. No, I'm done. I'm gonna grab a shower <laughs> and get back to work. Cool. That was fun. <laughs> Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. Mm. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, maybe. I just want to find him and make sure he never does it again. We'll get it. The guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. It's really fascinating that they have not found him yet. Ten years. Ten years since my parents were killed in a car accident. I've never completely recovered from losing them. You never really get over something like that. Considering all that's been happening to me lately, I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little. Oh, Marcus is there already. Oh, I see some bonus points. We should show some respect at the cemetery, but you know, bonus points. Our bonus points. I'm happy that you could come. Everything for Jesus. John and Mary Kane died in 1999. Lucas, come on, Lucas, come and play. You can't spend your whole life just sitting in the corner. Why not? Lucas. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. Marcus looks exactly like he looks right I'm now. Starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. Is that bad? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way. You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Why exactly are we kids on a military are you hangar? Coming with us, Lucas? He's being the responsible one. So, oh. he had those flashbacks all the time. Oh, 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 what? Hold the phone. Hangar four, it's gonna burn. Marcus and the others will get caught in the fire. Click, I've got to warn someone. Oh, we gotta save them before it's too late. All right, okay. Am I able to go through here? No? Wait, can I just tell them? Sir, my brother and some other kids are in Hangar 4, and it's gonna burn. You've got to go help them, please. Go on, get out of here, kid. I don't have time for games. It's the truth, I swear it. Help me, please, you gotta help me. No point wasting any more time. No one's going to believe me. I have to warn Marcus and the others myself. Kurt said something about a hole in the fence. Okay. What 
Where is that hole in the fence? Definitely not here. That's weird. Why exactly are we a kid on a military hangar again? Fuck's sake. Come on, Lucas! You got it! Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I can already see it coming. Oh my god. It's gonna be bad. Whoop. Just gonna follow the green line, I guess. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Super stealthy. How would they know? Is there another hole in some fence here? No. Alright. Apparently we cannot go there, so... can see it coming. Was that supposed to be a pun to the power and back to life? All right. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Don't move or I'll shoot. Ooh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, I should have just gone right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Don't move or I'll shoot. Shit, 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 shit. <sighs> Wait, but... Where is the guy even at that is seeing us? I don't understand completely. Oh, he's there. Oh, wait. There is... Ooh, no! no! We gotta move behind a truck, that's for sure. Truck is gonna come by and hopefully will give us enough time. Guess it's pretty easy to sneak into military bases or Naruto run into military bases because that's how you do it. And there we go. Just keep track of it. Right. Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Huh? How can that- Don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out. Now it's about to explode. I'll keep looking for the others. Okay. Luke is playing the hero since 19-whatever. Oh, wow. This sucks. Where are the others, even? How the fuck would I know where they hid? There is one. Cool. What are you doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? And you're telling me the 
kids are not realizing that there is an actual fire going on in the hangar right now. They're just like, ah! Guess the burning is normal. It's literally right there and everything is on fire and you're telling me that nobody's realizing that? How many kids are we supposed to find? Oh my god! Fuck those! Fuck those! Oh, why is the thing suddenly inverted? Oh, wait. There was someone. Wait, I literally what? saw him. Oh, Lucas, you're going to give me away! The hangar's going to explode. You gotta get out of here right now! Move your ass! You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game! You are going to get out of the hangar right now! I'm not kidding! Shh, Lucas, you're a total nutcase! Okay, we got one more, right? My god, if we wouldn't waste the time on conversation that much. Could have been out of here already. Cool, no one here. Uh, I guess there was supposed to be one in the plane, right? Maybe here? In here? What yeah. What are you doing here, Lucas? Get out! Somebody no, you get out! Room. You need to get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a retard, Lucas. <sighs> I'm just gonna I flee. Fuck him. Get out of here before everything explodes. Fuck him. If he wants to die, he wants to die. You know what, guys? I told Lucas, him. Are you hurt? No, just a few scratches. And the other. I did everything I could, Marcus. I didn't. I didn't manage to get them all out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. You know they'll never believe that. I know. Lucas, are you all right, Lucas? Lucas, can you hear me? did a little checking around, mm. without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who is familiar with, let's say, an unusual phenomenon. I think that maybe she could help you. Here, this is her address. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas, but I sincerely hope that she can give you some kind of answer. I hope so, too. Right, okay. So we have those visions since we've been a kid. He never mentioned that it is something familiar to him. So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Oh. Several elements match the MO of a ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information to determine that right How now. How would I know? I do it again tomorrow. What kind of question is that? Hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. Hello, so, Teddy. What's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds there. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. A book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you gonna work on? There's something that I need to verify. Oh, we're gonna work on the kiss. As far back thing. as I can remember. <laughs> to the tombs! Small spaces. 
the tombs of the police department of New York. Start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I Did I see some to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it. Every b chance b b b bonus points. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. Hey. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. <clears throat> cool. Little Carla here has a bit of trouble with claustrophobia, and we have to switch box around here. Get through this. A switch box for what exactly? Like a light switch box? How much do we hate this game yet? Quite enjoy it. Um. Tiger and I had a fun time playing Eye of the Tiger while we had the boxing scene, which was very good. <laughs> you have to watch it. Teddy, promise me that we will have to watch the replay of the fighting scene because it was actually pretty cool. Press the L and the R button alternately to make Carla breathe. Keep the pointer in the middle of the gauge to make Carla stay calm. <laughs> How do I go through here? Here's the archive terminal. I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten files should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. She lies. She only wants you to admit her, admire her quick time skills. I'm pretty happy with my quick time skills here. Not gonna lie. Oh shit. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I'm freaking out. I can't breathe. I gotta get out of here. Do I need to breathe quicker? I'll come back later. I can control my fear. Get up, Carla. Come on. No, I need to calm.
file starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Could we move more to the middle, please? It's starting. My hands. They're shaking. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Carla, I can't it's let fine. The fear get it's fine. I'm gonna check the disc I've got before I take another one. Oh, I check the discs. I get it. Cool, cool. There's no power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. Oh damn, that's a lot of text. I read it in a bit because right now I am occupied with reading and looking for solutions and I completely miss what the task is right now. I just heard switch box. Are we supposed to find another switch box? Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> please say it again, Carla. There's no power to the terminal. Okay, okay. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. Right, and the cable's going up to the back. Okay, okay, easy peasy. Breathe loud and clearly. Don't worry, Paula, I'll read it out loud for you. They're done, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Teddy. So far, we only died of Aaron panic Kirsten. once. Must not be the right disc. Okay, cool. So she said 1990, right? What's in this department? I think I figured what I need to do. Now it's just a question of breathing and coordinating. <sighs> breathing and coordinating.
Did someone say something about eating chips and then touching their equipment with their greasy ass hands? It's starting. My hands. They're shaking. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Can't let the fear get out of control. Tape. If that ain't the it, starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. It's literally the last thing in the last fucking corner. That must be it. I think I found it. <gasps> the file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait, there's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. Okay. Carla asked me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the killer. I inquired in the office and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. Okay, enjoy the music for a second. I need to go pee because Nugget made me drink like a lot. Oh, Tyler is dancing. Cute. BRB. Jammy music to have a bathroom break to. Ah, oh, let me read back. There is so much going on. Oh, you were proper, proper cleaning with some unscrewing. Damn. All good now? Okay. <laughs> cool. I'm glad everything is good and nothing broke. Nice. Good job, you. Uh. <sighs> cool. Let's continue with Tyler. That's a cool ass library. find out about the book that Lucas has been reading. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir? Oh, oh, I Sir? Am sorry to cause waking on you. Your presence here brings honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me Quick what times. I can do to make you happy. For what? Damn. 
This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. Thought it might be worth something. Ah, I'm happy. I am but the washless well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I sell here. Too bad, old Can you man. Just take a look at it. You must have seen books like this one before. Ah, many times, yes. I may sad to say, no can be helping me. Thanks anyway. At least I tried. For real? That is it? We went all this way to this special dope ass library just to be sent away? I feel like a joke. This can't be it. There must be more. Oh, a magnifying glass. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, nothing really interesting about that. Uh, also very uneventful pages. Oh, wait, no, there is something there. What's that? To my... There's something handwritten in pencil here. To my brother for his 18th birthday, MK. Hmm, interesting. But you met the adorable old man there. Why isn't that enough for you? I mean, he cute. But we're here for the book. <laughs> Aussie who was like, my tiny expertise is not enough. And I'm like, what do you mean? You own this huge library. How can your expertise be tiny? Paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers fell out of the book. Must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. All right. Lucas is getting himself into more and more shit. But I mean, I guess he never intended to commit a murder, so... Obviously, he was not prepared to hide any of his traces. Uh, maybe <gasps> there is something I can do for you. One client for the very rare book. Since this morning, I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. So he knows so stuff, but he like this book never want? wanted to tell us in the first place? Ah, easy. It's from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh man, what am I in a video game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back, Nugget. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I own 18 fedoras. I don't know much about them. Do you actually, though? Let's cheat a bit and take a photo of that because I do not want to walk back here. Mate, when you open up your camera and it starts with the selfie cam and you're like... The hell? How's the lover boy? Cool. I guess first step is to use the magnifying glass. 
I'd find out what this book is called. Cave me garas. So we're looking for a C. Cool. And uh, I got C is white in literally every floor. Oh, and it's sorted by different years. So, do we have a year in here? No. Let's look for the white section. Do we have to bring him all the books that we're about to find? And just be like, hey, check this one out. Is this the one? Wait, we're putting it back? Stop. Also, what is it with the one white and two whites? If the book you're looking for isn't here, then it doesn't exist. Mm. Thousands of old books. Cheers, Nugget. What is the massive mistake? Who's doing a massive mistake? Oh, Phantom. Yeah, what is the massive mistake? Okay, here's your book. I think maybe you've got a problem with your eyes. This not book I want. How uh, the hell am I supposed to looking. know? Can you give me another tip? I think he's waiting for me to bring back his stupid book. I decided to drink an energy drink at 1.46 a.m. So I guess I'm sleeping late tomorrow. <laughs> coming to see freckle because i promise that's only the first bit it gets better okay totally oh okay more there uh d grotola 1796 so that should be in third floor. Okay, cool. More clues. Currently we're in floor two. So it should be in the white section in floor three. Also, dope ass library. <sighs> I would love to live here. I would do the scene um, Smells like dust and old of paper. Tomb Raider where she just bungee jumps in her mansion. <sighs> that was so dope. What's on your phone? Were you typing out notes? No, I took a picture of the location thing of the books. Oh, it does not load. Anyways, um, I took a picture of the color coding for the thing but it's not enough clues there are like I don't know four of those 
kind of don't want to take the mole. Is that just going to be a random... Eh. Guess I got a try find? Or is there any s system behind it? I want to check... Oh, I want to check out what it says first before I give it to him. Oh, and we cannot. Great. Our mood is gonna get down, my dude. I never played to Okay, Raider. here's your is book. It good. Oh, great. Oh you found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? <laughs> what happened to his accent? <laughs> is it just me or did you lose your accent? Oh yeah. That's for the customers. They love that wise old Japanese master <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I was born in Brooklyn, man. <laughs> I never been no further than Long Island. <laughs> I'm more American than you are, man. Is there any way to find out who would have sold this book? Nah, this book ain't worth enough for any seller to remember it. <laughs> Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? <laughs> See you, homie. Um, but seriously, you didn't help me at all. I chose the wrong thing to ask, but still, you didn't help me at all. Uh, well... Tomb Raider? Actually, I feel like the last time I played was like Tomb Raider 3 or something. Like, it was on CD. Her boobs were still triangles. It was a bunch of fun. I liked it. Uh, but the newer Tomb Raiders are apparently really, really, really much fun. And uh, what I was referring to, though, is the Tomb Raider movies, which are just as ridiculous as Fahrenheit here. <laughs> like, the jokes they make and the c the way the movie is written is just absolute nutcase definitely recommend it look up maybe for a drinking game for the tomb raider movies because i feel like you can make a drinking game out of it and it's going to turn out to be a lot of fun you should do it i recommend drink responsibly though you can make me hydrate 140 times i will cool a rich kid he's one day you're gonna come around the corner with your points and you're like hmm guess it's like a bit of uncharted drink for every backflip <laughs> you're gonna have a problem after 10 minutes <laughs> Did we just call Fahrenheit ridiculous? You started with that. If you think it's ridiculous just so far, uh, well, oh my god, it's gonna get even worse. How can it even become worse? Bonus! Plus 20. Maybe one or two more chapters and I'm gonna end it for today. Don't wanna go to bed too late. So let's play one more chapter with Lucas. We're at Agatha's house. That is the woman who Marcus recommended to get healed. The giant bugs get bunny ears. You're kidding me. Oh, that's just something that you thought of. It's... It's already been pretty fucking ridiculous. Agatha's house. 7, 12 p.m. Minus 12 degrees. Here it is. <laughs> just enter or ring again both quite 
rude. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna enter. Hello. Oh man, this kind of reminds me of the house of the beast inside because it's crazy. Is there anyone here? Okay, it does not look any like the beast inside house anymore, but it's still fucking creepy. Ooh. B -b 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 bonus points. The old plates on the shelf. Excuse me? What are you judgy about? Your place looks like trash as well. The, wood stove. Huh, the coffee pot is still hot. So Agatha is definitely in here somewhere. Had some coffee, but ooh. All right. Uh, nothing weird about the bird room. Are those are those crows in the cages? Ish, pretty gloomy pets. An old worker work chest of drawers. Can we pull out their drawers? I wanna look inside. Okay, um sketchy ass room. Is anyone at home? Agatha. Candlesticks, an old grimoire, weird atmosphere. Um. A stuffed crow. Ah, uh, cool. She is. Oh, what the hell? is that the clock has stopped I thought you were talking about Tomb Raider are you guys are recommending Fox and Games oh are, are you Agatha why do you want to talk to Agatha? I was told that she could help me. Help you? Tell me, who on this earth doesn't need a little help? Good thesis. She's coming in strong with her arguments. Why are we touching her face again? One need not have eyes to see. Kind young man, push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. Sure, let's go into creepy bird room. <laughs> oldest, oldest toilet in the world. I swear we could have done something here. Ooh. A very old mirror hidden behind a sheet. Pull off the sheet. Pull off the sheet. Why does she not want to have mirrors to be open? I know there is something about mirrors and superstitions and like mirrors needing to be covered and shit, but. She's blind, yo. She don't see nothing. Into the bird room. 
Because that is definitely a nice place to be. The bird is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your fate? Murder. I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? <laughs> I had a vision of another man making exactly the same movements as me, and of a little girl who called out to me for help. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? No. No. All right, we found the seeds. So I don't know what's in the other... I like how chatty he is about the casual murder. He's like, yeah, I killed a man. It wasn't me though. any memory of what could have triggered your loss of control? Did you drink something, hear a sound, or see an image which seemed out of the ordinary? I have no idea. In fact, I can't remember anything that happened to me from the time I entered the place to when I woke up again afterwards. Have you experienced any other strange manifestations since then? Have you had any odd dreams or visions? Yes. Yes, I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your vision, such as a symbol or a sign, maybe a word? When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. I feel like it's not good. <laughs> what does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. What's a sitting room again? The one where we started? Controls in this game, I swear. Cool, we're here, Agatha. Take a seat. You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. Quick. Okay. Wait, where did you say was the candles? Drawer here. One. Enough. It's gotta be enough. There are not more candles in here. I thought we were gonna have some like actual nice candle party. <sighs> I guess Agatha is a bit ready when it comes to her candles.
Alrighty. Let's get this ritual over with so I can go to bed. <laughs> Alright, Agatha. Let's. Oh. I see we had enough candles all along. I just needed to place them. Don't tell me I have to light each one individually. Jeez, he's going full, full high road. 